What's up, YouTube? Ant Man back again. Um, I just thought I'd share a video with you guys on this Saturday. By the way, it's a beautiful day today. Spring is almost here, so it's looking lovely outside. I got my windows open right now. That's one thing about the screen, guys. I mean, it's got a. I got all my windows open right now, and it's got light, as you can see. I, you guys know my loft, but I mean, the picture is still. Still good for all the ambient light coming in, and I'm running. I'm running a. I set a white screen as well. So it's only one point one game, but again, shows good. You know the lights up, open, and everything. You know. But anyway, the reason why I'm making this video, guys, is because last night I discovered something on my Denon X sixty five hundred H. Right. So I know we just recently got the uh, IMAX enhanced uh, update. And uh, mine set automatically, so I don't know exactly what date came in because I have my updates set to auto. But anyways, I just thought I just want to share something with you guys. So they said you need IMAX, you know, like a an IMAX movie, I believe, is from what I'm, my understanding, to get the immersive sound from the new update, right? So I have an Xbox One X right there. I'm going to go ahead and switch for uh, inputs. So I'm going to game, right? So I was in my Voodoo and Netflix account last night watching movies, and I was going through my uh, my sound modes on my remote control, right? And uh, what is going on here? Oh, I'm sorry, my Xbox is not even on. Excuse me, guys. And uh, as I was looking at movies, I was changing the sound modes because I was going through RO3D and playing some Atmos. Well, then all of a sudden, it gave me an option for IMAX DTS and IMAX Mutual X, which I was like, whoa, this is crazy. So I, the, the Xbox X, I think, decodes, excuse me, decodes um, the IMAX enhanced. So let me go and show you guys what I'm talking about here. Okay, so let me go to Vulu. Excuse the mess, guys. I got a bathroom in here. It's a little dirty in my room here. Hope everybody's having a good day today, by the way, guys. And again, please, uh, if you find this video useful or helpful, please like and subscribe and hit that notification button, guys, for upcoming videos. All right, so here we go. Like, so I got John Wick here, right, guys? Let me see. Put me zoom. So let me show you what's up. Okay, what I'm talking about here. So last night, okay, so right now, I'm in RO3D mode, right? So if you look up here, look what it says, guys. IMAX DTS. Oops. It's got DTS, IMAX DTS Neuro X and then RO3D. So watch as I go through here. So I thought, wow, this is pretty cool. And again, I'm running this through my Xbox One X, guys. And I have Bitstream on. And again, check it out. Mr. Big. Look what it says. The typical who deal. Watch Max GTS X, guys. The, the PG learned. Are you so here guess, business, sir? If you have an Xbox One Great X, so it will play the format of IMAX. Why don't you take the night off? And I can switch it back to uh, IMAX DTS, which is just your... Uh, and the way they have it set up for DTS X, right? Thank you, sir. So my speakers... This tells me what speakers are active right at the moment. Let me get out of the way here. So right now, for DTS, for IMAX DTS, right? It's just playing the front left, the front right, your center, my surround backs, left and right. So this is for IMAX DTS, right? So if I switch it over to IMAX DTS X, Neural X, now look at my speakers that are playing right now. So it's got my front heights, front and rear heights, it's got the front and left side center, surround left, surround right, and then the back surrounds, right? So these are all active, guys. And it's playing IMAX right here. I'm watching John Wick, Blu ray, through my Xbox X, Voodoo, and it's playing IMAX X. So let's see, I'm not really sure if this works with my Netflix also through the console. Let's check it out. Back on out of here. I think it does work for Netflix as well, guys. 
But I thought that was pretty cool for you guys. You know, I just thought, like I said, I was messing around on my Xbox last night, watching some videos and some movies. And I noticed the format change. And I was like, wow. And that, for me, was the first time I've seen that. So it must have just recently updated that in the past week or so. Okay, here's a little bit of Tokyo. Ichiban, if you want to let me know, because we come from Tokyo. Sorry, guys, just a little bit of humor. Oh, yeah, see, so it does. So anything that plays through the Xbox, whether it be a movie or whatnot, guys, unless if you have a Adobe Atmos turned off, which I do, and I'll show you that in a minute. But see, it does play through Netflix. So let me show you my settings under my Xbox that I have it under, guys. So let's go to display sounds. Let me show you what I have under. So right here, I have Bitstream out. Right, guys? And then I have Bitstream format on the Xbox. Turned on DTS Digital Surround. Not Atmos. If you have it on Atmos, it will stay locked on Adobe Atmos. So the only way this works for the IMAX is if you have Bitstream out and then you have the optical off and then Bitstream format DTS digital surround. So you can't have this, guys. You see right there where it says Dolby Atmos. If you enable that, then it's just going to play Dolby Atmos. But if you keep it DTS digital surround on your Xbox One X, it will play IMAX for you guys to have IMAX enhanced receivers. I just thought that would be a cool little thing to share with you guys. And again... If you find this video useful or helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification button, guys. All right, take care. Until another time, Ant-Man out.